Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello, welcome to Question of the Week, the first one of 2020, so Happy New Year. This week, we're pondering this perplexing phone signal question from listener Derek. I can sit at my work desk with my phone by my side and the signal strength display goes from saying no service to four bars out of five within a couple of minutes for no obvious reason. It varies like this all day every day. I can understand why some places have good coverage and others bad coverage, but why should it vary so much in one place? When you dial up your buddy on a mobile phone, a signal is being sent from the transmitter in your phone to a cell phone mast and from here it travels to the receiver on your friend's phone, facilitating communication. We asked signal expert Ramsey Farragher from Focal Point Positioning and Cambridge University to dial up an answer to Derek's question about those wandering mobile phone signal bars. The signal fluctuations that Derek is observing can typically be caused by two main effects. The first one is objects moving in and out of the line of sight between the phone and the radio tower. These might be things like vehicles on the road outside. But if the signal is fluctuating quite rapidly, then the second effect is likely to be dominating here, and that's called multipath interference. Because radio signals don't just pass completely through non-metallic objects, some of the energy is actually reflected as well. In a typical room, there can be lots of copies of the same signal bouncing around. Often there's just one dominant loud signal still, but in Derek's case it's possible that in his room there is no main dominant signal and all of these different copies of the same signal are interfering with each other. Just like water waves, radio waves have peaks and troughs. And if the signals come together at Derek's phone all nicely lined up, peak to peak, then the signal will actually boost a little. But if they align peak to trough, they can cancel each other out and the signal power can drop to next to nothing. Now, signals can sometimes take quite complicated paths to get deep inside a building, and it could be the movements of objects that are dozens of metres away from Derek that are actually causing these fluctuations he's seeing. The wavelength of radio signals used by mobile phones is about 20 centimetres, and so people and objects and vehicles that are moving around even just a few centimetres in the area around Derek, they can be what are causing these fluctuations he's seeing, as all of the radio signals that bounce off these objects vary in their path lengths by a few centimetres and sometimes boost and sometimes cancel each other out. So my top tip for Derek, if he's struggling to get his messages out with his fluctuating signal strength, is to gently shake his phone. Just a few centimetres is enough and it will allow him to average through the multipath interference and it will increase his chances of getting that critical tweet out of the door. Thank you, Ramsey, for beaming us that answer. Next time, we're getting physical with this fertility question from Jura. Hello, naked scientists. I would like to know why a woman body doesn't reject sperm as a foreign object. What do you think? Do you know the answer? nakedscientist.com slash question is where you want to go or you can email chris at the nakedscientist.com find us on facebook tweet at naked scientists or you can join in the debate on the forum the nakedscientist.com slash forum thank you very much for listening and until next time goodbye goodbye